hello guys uh, welcome again today we will see the next uh, tutorial uh, how to uh, perform the accuracy assessment of uh, classified image in ArcGIS Pro in the previous uh, video we have seen how to classify uh, the image here uh, this is the output of uh, the classified image from the last uh, tutorial so uh, today we will see how to uh, do uh, the accuracy assessment of this classified image so first uh, we have to create uh, accuracy pointers using uh, geoprocessing tool uh, create accuracy pointers so first let us check the attribute of our uh, classified image here as you can see we have class values and a class name i have four uh, classes built up farmland forest and neverland and they have their own uh, class value so uh, we are going to create uh, accuracy point or collect pointers that represent the classified image so uh, go to your uh, analysis in the toolbox in the geoprocessing uh, toolbox search for uh, create accuracy assessment point i have already searched it this is uh, create accuracy assessment point So uh, in this dialog box, input your uh, classified image as input raster or feature class data set. This will be the classified image and uh, specify your uh, output location and the name. Rename it as uh, you want, pointers. Um, so our target field will be the classified uh, field from then uh, here you are going to select how many uh, pointers you need to check the accuracy of the classified image so uh, i'm going to take only 50 pointers for each four classes but in your case you have to increase the number of random pointers to uh, get more accurate classification accuracy so but for this tutorial i'm going to use only 50 pointers and there are uh, three more meters in ArcGIS Pro for sampling method or sampling strategy. From this, uh, I'm going to use a, a stratified uh, random sampling method. There are uh, three more meters, but this one is more uh, accurate one. So I'm going to use uh, a stratified random sampling method. So this will create the accuracy point or it will uh, take uh, random pointers for uh, each classified uh, classes then run your uh, accuracy assessment point collection So the task is completed. Here uh, you can see that one uh, layer is added as accuracy uh, point or accuracy assessment point. You can change the symbology of uh, the layer. The pointers that represent the classified image. Uh, so we are going to check whether this point fall on the exact location on the ground. So. Uh, I'm going to use the base map layer from the ArcGIS Pro here. You can change the imagery uh, already using the world imagery as a base uh, map. So I'm going to check the accuracy from uh, this uh, layer. So once we have created the uh, sample pointers, we are going to uh, create a confusion matrix. But first we need to uh, add the ground truths point for each uh, classified pointers so open the attribute of this uh, accuracy assessment table here as you can see there are 50 pointers collected and we have uh, four columns this shows the classified uh, value of this point 
and we are going to add what does this uh, class represent on the ground so you can uh, close or turn off the classified image layer and uh, use the imagery or base map to check uh, this point represents exactly uh, the beer land on the ground so my in my case number four is uh, beer land one is built up and two is farmland and three is uh, class number three is forest so we are going to check whether uh, this point falls on the uh, ground exact location so first we need to edit this ground through the pointers so once we have opened the attribute of uh, this point layer go to edit then you can uh, cross check whether this point falls on the ground then edit uh, the ground through the layer so as you can see this is uh, actually not the beer land it is farmland so it is not for the ground so farmland in my case it is so like this you are going to edit all the pointers all the 50 pointers with their corresponding ground truth so i'm going to forward this video and edit all the pointers and come back uh, to the final stage i have uh, edited all the uh, pointers ground truth pointers and the classified image so once you have finished your edit you have to save the edit and uh, uh, go to the next step next we will do the classification accuracy assessment using confusion matrix so search for uh, compute confusion matrix i have already uh, searched it here so our input accuracy assessment point will be uh, this one so add it as uh, input then give the output location in the name and run it that is completed and we will get uh, one layer added to the content here so this one is our accuracy table open the attribute table of this one so it shows the final kappa statistics and overall in the user accuracy here so as you can see i got around 78 uh, percent classification accuracy from this uh, classified image so you can do the classification accuracy of the classified image using rts pro like this so you can improve your classification by uh, using different methods in the high quality image so this is uh, all about my today's tutorial. Thank you for your uh, time. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video.